Bunny and it is time for this week's First Impression Friday video and this week we are going to test another mascara and I personally have been waiting for this product to come out forever and ever and ever. I feel like I saw this on... In too excited. Also my chair like squeaks. Listen to this. Do you hear that? It's kind of awkward. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I saw this product months and months and months ago on Instagram and it is a brand new mascara by Urban Decay and it's called Perversion. My goodness. I was at Ulta the other day and I finally was able to obtain it. Sephora, as far as I've seen, still does not have this in stock. Does that mean that Ulta gets newer products before Sephora? Just interesting debate. Comment down below. Let me know. Right now, since this is like their new debut product, you get kind of like a two for deal where you get Perversion, which is the new mascara, and you get Subversion, which is a lash primer and I believe that this mascara duo set was $22 and I will put the price somewhere in the screen just in case I'm wrong and instead of doing like a comparison between two different mascaras what we're gonna do is just try the regular perversion on one eye and then layering subversion with perversion on this eye and see how much of a difference the lash primer makes that that way, in case you can't get this duo set, you can kind of judge for yourself how much you might or might not need to invest in this lash primer. Like a second skin, our ultra creamy lengthening and volumizing formula coats each lash with triple black pigments and a deeply nourishing ingredient blend for bigger, blacker, badder lashes. Wow, there is a lot of strong language on this box. This is maybe like PG-13. Here is what the lash primer looks like. It looks like a very standard wand. I am, however, delighted to see that the lash primer is a creamy kind of texture and not just like the fuzzy lash extensions. When it is a fuzzy lash primer. It has just the fibers, but it is not like a creamy liquidy kind of formula that it bothers my eyes much more frequently than these kinds of primers. I've never had a primer like this that bothered me or made my eyes red or irritated or anything like that. So hopefully I will be able to use this product long term. Here is the actual mascara and uh, once again the wand looks very regular classic, I guess you could say. There's no distinctive curvature or shape to the wand. It is just basic. I'm just going to apply just a single coat of this first on this eye and we will see what a difference it makes. I'm using my iPhone as a mirror right now because I'm such a professional. Heaven help. How do I do this? Oh my goodness. Living dangerously. Taking a walk on the wild side. Here is one coat of this mascara and I have to admit I am pretty pleasantly surprised so far. I think that it adds a lot of volume and a lot of lengthening, especially versus my normal eyelash with nothing on it. Also, I'm not seeing any clumps. Do you see clumps? I'm noticing now I have eyeliner under my eyes. So attractive. Now we are going to move on to the other side and I'm going to apply this lash primer first. Okay, I gotta do this in the mirror. Just not a good look. I'm bonking it all over my eyes. Look, bonks everywhere. All right, I cleaned up the bonks. So uh, this is what it looks like with the primer and this is what it looks like alone, one coat. And this is still just one coat over the primer. This sounds so confusing. Basically, with the primer, without the primer, 
I actually like the look of it without the primer better, even though it's maybe not as dramatic. It looks more natural and less clumpy on the non-primed side. What I'm gonna do now is go apply one more coat on this eye and see how two coats looks versus the primed coat, if that makes any sense at all. All right. <clears throat> This is like the most confusing first impression video I've ever done. So uh, this is with two coats of just the Perversion Mascara. And once again, this is the eye that I put on the primer and then the mascara. I still like just the mascara alone without the primer. It starts to, I think, look a little bit clumpier the more coats that you put on it. But I will have to compliment this mascara a lot because it does have a very nice creamy texture to it. You know how some mascaras feel like really dry even right when you first open the tube? This one does feel very creamy and very moisturizing. As always, I really, really need you guys' help to tell me down below your thoughts and feelings on this product. So far, I like it. I definitely like it better as a standalone product and without the primer. I feel like I've said that 5,000 times in this video so if you can get it with the primer then uh, that's awesome and a total bonus Jonas but if you can't then I would just buy the mascara by itself and not really worry about the primer too much. It feels like it does a good job of lengthening and separating my lashes. I would probably just wear this with one coat as a standalone product. And there's very few mascaras, honestly, I feel that way about. Most of the time I feel like I had to layer at least two or three layers, but I really liked how this mascara looked best when I just did one coat by itself. So I definitely definitely will be wearing this. Also, just a quick note before I go, I will be going to BeautyCon, which is just like a week away now. It is Saturday, August 16th, so I will be on a panel and I will be doing a meet and greet there. I hope to uh, meet a lot of you guys. It's in LA. Also, stay tuned in the coming week. I'm almost 100% sure I will be doing a free meet and greet somewhere in LA. It's my first year ever to go to BeautyCon, so I hope it's gonna be an awesome experience. And I hope to meet a lot of Swamp family members there. That is my favorite part of any event, obviously. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for being here today. And don't forget to comment down below and leave me a request for what you would like to see me try out on next week's First Impressions Friday video. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.